Hey, good afternoon people, how's it going? Today I want to do a fragrance comparison between five very similar fragrances and there has been a lot of talk about these fragrances, how similar they are, how similar vibe they give and three of these fragrances actually created by uh, one uh, great uh, perfumer who is Olivia Cresp, okay? So they're different there is definite uh, resemblance in each other, but they're not exactly the same. So I will be uh, showing you sort of like a side-by-side -side comparison. And in one video, I'll give you a summary of uh, each fragrances. Uh, so it's up to you which one you want to choose and which one is going to be your priority. One of them is actually built for women, but it can be pretty easily like, a, in my opinion, unisex perfume. Okay, so I'll show you one by one. So the five fragrances that I'm going to show you today, Pakuraban Black Excess, creation of Olivia Cresp, first one. Second one is Versace Manu Fresh, very popular one, and one of my most favorite summer fragrances of all time. This is also Olivia Cresp. Third one, I'm gonna show you Azaro Chrome Sport, this uh, frosted glass. This is Michel Almerac, I think. Next one is uh, Mont Blanc Star Walker. So Mont Blanc uh, Star Walker is basically uh, also Michel Almerac, I think, same perfumer. So this one also has similarity and the last one Olivia Crisp again uh, Dolce & Cabana light blue for women poor femme. So let's see what you get uh, and I'll give you from time to time a uh, comparison or like which one smells like what on my skin or to my nose right. So start from the left uh, this is Paco Rabanne Black Excess okay I have a small bottle it's almost finished I have like a juice level as you can see it's not much it's here. So this one uh, I have been owning for about three years now. Uh, this one is like a flanker of Original Excess by Paco Rabanne. That one is a see-through chromish sort of a cap and see-through glass. That is similar to Creed's Himalaya. I think that was the inspiration for Creed's Himalaya. So they also come in this sort of like this Zippo lighter sort of cap. A very nice looking bottle. Not very expensive also. So this fragrance, it has citruses. Okay, it has definite citruses. Uh, it has this light sort of citrus and the note of strawberry. Mild chocolatey feel. Imagine like a chocolate covered strawberry with a lot of citruses up top. So this fragrance is good for mild cold weather. You can wait for summer also, but longevity is not that great. Uh, I have reviewed, you can check out individual reviews on each. So this fragrance, it's very sweet, playful, youthful, and most of this fragrance is very youthful actually. This fragrance will cost you about, uh, I think, $40, $45 uh, at a discounted rate for a full 100 ml big bottle. This is... Uh, good for evening time maybe clubbing and partying uh, dates and stuff it's very sweet women can also wear it. it it gives out sort of like a very fruity sort of a sweet light sort of a gourmand kind of a feel okay so first one is black excess i would recommend it for longevity it's okay some people get good longevity but for me it's moderate smell wise it's good if you like the note of strawberry you can try black excess so this one smells uh very close to the next one if you see mark's review uh, definitely you can check he will tell you it's similar to menu fresh so menu fresh this is my i think second bottle i finished my 100 ml then i got a big 200 ml this is uh, my most favorite in this lineup okay out of the five i'll be honest this is a beast how is this a beast so basically tell me tell you about the performance first this one the longevity it's kind of spotty on many people for me it's a beast mode longevity because for a fresh fragrance you know many people would ask why doesn't it last 10 hours Fresh fragrances wouldn't last you 10 hours. That's not how they are built. Fresh fragrance is supposed to be like citrusy, light, airy. If, the, if you get like four to five hours tops, that is beast mode already, okay? So that's how you should judge your fragrance and be a little bit fair. So first thing I love about this fragrance is this bottle. I love, this is the most beautiful bottle in fresh blue category. I think this is one of the most beautiful bottles ever. I like the ridges at the side and it's not very expensive. You can get this for 35 to 40 dollars for 100 ml and 200 ml you can get it for like 70, 75 dollars. I think 70 dollars more or less. This is one of the best 200 ml you can get. I saw recently a comment which 200 ml I should get. This is one of them I highly recommend. This and perhaps second one I would recommend is David of Cool Water Wave. These are great. If you want to get a 200 ml you can spray sparingly. You can spray a lot. You won't feel guilty and they won't finish in a hurry. So the best, the feature of this fragrance it has lemon it has beautiful lemon beautiful carambola or star fruit in it and also a little bit woody elements and kind of spicy at sometimes but mostly what you get is that lemon sort of like a bitter lemon and watery aquatic sort of feel 
which is very mouth watering refreshing for summer days on the skin when you go out in the sun i said it already many times go out in the sun this stuff projects like crazy for the price this is one of the best bets you know if you're looking for summer fragrance this i would recommend highly i'll give almost 10 out of 10. Uh, the thing is this fragrance you need to try first because first time i tried it i i was expecting a lot more lemon like lemon lime but it came off a little bit different you know it, it's that caramel or star fruit it can uh, appear to you like oh that's not what i was expecting but once you get used to that smell and this is amazing you go out in the heat it projects like crazy right so this is my favorite in the line and compared to black x's it has that lemony sort of dna same perfumer but this one has the added strawberry and chocolate this one has that caramel or star fruit so this is more fruity than this and more a little bit more tart citrus than this okay so that's the second one so i've been doing i'm thinking to do this because people always draw comparison in groups so i just thought let's do a video third one is the most i think affordable one here okay azaro chrome sport as you can see beautiful bottle i mean i love this bottle this is very much like one of those tall monuments in dubai you can see from side it has this thin sort of bottle and the juice color is very beautiful it's kind of like light blue airy sky color you know it says chrome and it says azaro the sport is not said anywhere i think so the built-in sprayer here it also follows the pattern of azaro chrome this is a, actually a flanker of original azaro chrome same juice color but the smell a little bit different chrome to me is a very metallic uh, floral citrusy you know nice fragrance but it's very strong uh, compared to this this is very very strong so this is one of the top sellers in the market but it smells a little bit different in this so this is basically a budget version of versace menu fresh i said it in my comparison um this one is going to cost you like 35 40 dollars this is going to cost you 22 dollars almost like half the price of this for 100 ml versus 100 ml so how is the performance i'm wearing these side by side today versace menu fresh here uh, azaro chrome sport here so right side azaro chrome sport Azaro Chrome Sport, the thing is, it has similar opening to Versace Menu Fresh. Same citrus, same tart citrus, but no carambola in this, okay? No fruity uh, note. This is more seaside. It's, it has the, some DNA from Azaro Chrome, original Chrome, a little bit here. It borrows because it's a flanker. So if you like Chrome, imagine the seaside feel minus the sea salt. There's no saltiness in this, but it has that grassy note. It's a little bit green, okay? And it has that kind of like that metallic cool feel the moment you spray this is very cool it's almost like you sprayed uh durum cologne or some citrus grapefruit uh, like you kept it in the fridge right and you just have it very cool for two hours and you spray it in your skin it has that cooling sensation absolute gem for summer it does have good performance perhaps it's not as crazy projector as versace menu fresh but this is pretty damn good so for the price what you get if you like this one if you want even budget version of this one uh, menu fresh you can get chrome sport very affordable for 100 ml absolute banger absolute value you know this is hands down one of the dumb riches you know for students if you're going for work any purpose casual summer this is really really good so azaro it's even more budget friendly than versace so that's why i love the house of azaro so you can definitely try it but that grassy accord and a little bit the sea like sea notes you know minus the salt if you like aquatic oceanic this is your go to go to guy you know but if you ask me which one I prefer out of the two, definitely Versace Menu Fresh, even though it's more pricey, smell is more pleasant in this one than this. But this is not far behind the Versace Menu Fresh. If you ask about value, this is more value. All right. So going to the third one, this is uh, really beautiful. Oh, by the way, sorry, this is done by Michel Almarak. I think perfumer for it. So it's surprising how similar the smell from two different perfumers. So this another creation from Michel Almarak. This is Mont Blanc Star Walker this is my most favorite Mont Blanc fragrance i tell you hands down it has nice looking bottles 75 mil they, you can buy this for below 30 dollars same price as uh, Mont Blanc individual or uh, say presents you know there are other fragrances in this lineup i have quite a few Mont Blanc i have uh, one more Mont Blanc i don't know where is that bottle <laughs> i forgot so this fragrance it's really nice this is another citrusy sweet this is sweeter than the previous three this has sweetness this has beautiful citruses lemon at the same time it has a note of bamboo and that bamboo note it's just so gorgeous it's like it takes you to a zen place it makes you relax this fragrance is so handsome i mean people say they don't get so much push yes projection is kind of like low 
or longevity is pretty good on me. I get constantly four to five hours from this. Uh, same case with this, perhaps I get four, maybe this one will give me four to five hours. But it depends, you know, longevity and smell, it's very uh, subjective on, you know, varies from skin to skin, okay? Whether to weather or skin chemistry to, you know, skin chemistry, if you're outdoors or indoors, this is an excellent office scent. If you wear this in office, gym, man, everybody's going to love your smell. Even people come up to ask you, what are you wearing? So this is very handsome, one of the best smelling fragrances in this class and just lovely it has that added sweetness of to it so it makes it a little bit uh semi-sweet semi-fresh kind of a perfume you can wear this for a mild cold weather let's say spring or fall that would be great longevity would be really really good on you but the, remember the sillage or projection on this is mild and that's how it's supposed to be special so it doesn't give you that heavy feel that you get from one long um, individual that is the raspberry sweetness is very very strong so this fragrance it's really really i would highly recommend this if you want to get a mon long this is one of them i would highly recommend it's very underrated very inexpensive 30 dollars not gonna break your bank amazing looking juice color and one of the best releases ever from this house right the star walker for you last one i think it's back to olivia crisp dolce and gabbana light blue for women okay so this fragrance sort of like a Honestly speaking, one of the best fragrances uh, I used to own. I gave it to my mom, now a little bit left. I gave it to her when it was here. So I also received a few days back the Dolce Gamma Light Blue All Intense for Women. That is the blue juice. Same looking bottle, but blue juice inside. And the bottle looks, the cap looks a little different. But this, trust me, has been reformulated, but still, God, this smells like godlike. You know, this is like a amazing looking, I, I mean, amazing kind of a perfume. So the thing is what you get from it. This is pretty similar to, I'll tell you, Star Walker, very similar to Versace Menu Fresh and Black Excess, similar DNA. Citruses, Amalfi Lemon, I think, Amalfi Lemon. Again, you've got the bamboo, you can also get from Star Walker, but the citruses in this and little bit like mask, light white mask, it's almost like reminds you of sort of like a body shop, but in a much better way. Body shop fragrance, much better, you know, citrus done men can easily wear this and get away with it many men wear this fragrance worldwide and it does sell a lot of bottles from this uh, house these fragrances are, i think most expensive in this whole lineup they're going to cost you about 45 55 dollars for a big bottle but it's worth it so performance if you ask me many reviewers will tell you doesn't last anymore i don't think so it one this one on the clothes really really last a very long time projects really crazy yes light siage light projection but if you do not have the shittiest skin ever, <laughs> I'm sorry being rude a little bit, but if you do not have absolutely poor skin, you can pull this off easily. If you want more performance version, get the All Intense, the EDP, right? So this fragrance also reminds me, like all these fragrance remind me a little bit of uh, David of Silver Shadow Altitude. Look at the beautiful blue juice. It's pretty similar to, I would say, uh, mostly Azura Chrome's port, okay? If you like this one, give it a try. This is another hidden gem. I could have put it in this comparison, but I think it has a little bit difference. It has a lot more florals. This one is uh, got this juniper berries. I'm showing you actually five, six fragrances there. Uh, so this fragrance, if you like Tom Ford, Neroli Portofino, those fragrances like, you know, like this Costa Azura, this is a very budget version of those fragrances, okay? I'm not joking. It's true. This fragrance smells a lot like Costa Azura, but of course that one has more better ingredients, but $20 or $22 or I think my good friend Michalis, <laughs> he, he loves this thing. He has a beautiful full bottle now. So this fragrance is also great for that. So yeah, I mean, if you like this kind of fragrance, you can get any of them. Even if you can get other, I mean, David of Cool Water Wave. These are blessing for summer. These are like drinkable. You can almost drink these kind of fragrances. And this is my mom's signature scent since like, I think 2000s, you know, she bought, she got it as a gift. She finished it off. I'm going to buy her new all intense bottle once this runs out. So this one men can also use. So this fragrance, all amazing looking fragrance, amazing, beautiful fragrances. But if you ask me the pick the best one, most uh, bang for buck in this lineup is Chrome uh, Sport. This is, this is gonna be the cheapest and the value that you get from out of all this, this, this is gonna be 10 out of 10 for the value. If you ask me for the smell, which one is the best smell? Menu Fresh. Which one is going to give you the best projection? Menu Fresh. Which one is going to give you the most compliments? Menu Fresh. So if you ask me, all these fragrances are great. And I would also highly recommend Mont Blanc Star Walker. But this one doesn't get as much notice as this one. That's where it trumps 
the star walker but any of these you get you love them they're pretty similar so the winner for all this comparison today versace menu fresh you can absolutely try this fragrance for summer high heat winner right 10 if there's a 10 plus i'll give this a 10 plus out of 10 so that's the comparison video today hopefully you enjoyed and just for fun you know i don't have so many other fragrances recently uh, to review if i get i'll do review for you have a nice day stay chilled and stay out of harm spot see you soon bye bye